Thank you for purchasing a Bulldog Vault's biometric pistol vault. This vault features the latest in biometric and fingerprint technology. This video has been designed to show you some of the unique features of this vault, as well as some lessons on how to program your own fingerprints into the vault. For the next portion of this video, we'll need you to locate your owner's manual packet, which is located inside of the box. This packet will contain your owner's manual, an expanded view diagram showing you where the buttons and unique features of this vault are located, as well as your emergency override key and external battery pack. For this portion of the video, I'll be showing you how to install the batteries into your new biometric vault for the first time. The vault has been shipped to you unlocked. You'll just want to grab the operating mechanism and pull on the vault. If it seems a little difficult to pull, it's being held by felt pads. So just pull a little tug and the vault will go ahead and open. You'll also notice on the inside, the battery compartment is located at the back side of the door. You'll want to have the Allen wrench that has come with your vault as well as four AA batteries. I have already done this to speed up time on the video. Please pay attention to the polarity when installing the four AA batteries. I'll now show you how to operate some of the electronic features of your new biometric pistol safe. Before we start, I want to make sure that you have located the emergency override keys. These keys will need to be kept outside of the safe at all times. You'll notice the silver key cover, which can be removed with the included Allen wrench. This is where you would use your emergency override keys in the event of an emergency or power loss. The Bulldog Biometric Vault also comes with an external backup battery source. This way, you can access the safe upon the event of dead batteries without removing the key cover and using the external emergency key. This is the external battery backup source. To use this, you simply remove the cover, insert four AA batteries, noting the polarity position, the positive and negative marked on the case. You'd insert the cover back onto the case, and the plug for this battery backup is located on the bottom right corner of the power panel. To use the backup battery source, you simply insert the tip of the plug into the receptacle at the bottom of the panel. This will give you battery power, allowing you to open the safe as normal and change the AA batteries on the inside for continued use. Since your safe is new and out of the box, it will now operate on any generic fingerprint since we have not programmed one into the safe. To lock your safe, you'll simply want to press the power button once. You'll hear the mechanism move in a few beeps to indicate that the safe is now locked. To open the vault for the first time, you'll use the exact same process. You'll press the power button once, place your finger on the LED light screen, You'll hear a series of beeps. You'll see OK flash once. You'll hear the mechanism move, and the safe is now open and ready for use. Now that we know the safe is operational, I'll show you how to program your own unique individual fingerprint into the safe. First, you'll want to make sure the door is open. Use your diagram to locate your two programming buttons. You'll notice one is a red button. This is a fingerprint deletion button. For this process, we want to use the green button which is a fingerprint registration button. To register the first print, you'll simply want to press the button. Once the programming button has been pressed, you'll place your finger on the red screen. You'll hear a verbal beep, OK will flash. This will now let you know that your print has been accepted into the vault. You can close the door, press the power button, which as we previously demonstrated, will lock the vault. Now you may simply press the power button again, gently press your finger on the screen, you will see OK, letting you know that your new print has been accepted. You may also register additional fingerprints to your vault. You may enter up to a total of 31 fingerprints. To do this, your print will need to be the master print. Once again, you simply press the red button, gently place your master finger that you used there. Now you may enter another finger, You see that the safe has beeped and shown me the OK symbol, which now means that that finger is also registered, which in this case, I use my middle finger. To test this, we we'll want to press the power button to lock the safe. The safe is now locked. So we'll press the power button again, eliminate the red LED, place the middle finger gently on the screen. This is OK. 
You notice originally it flashed no, this was due to the positioning of my finger. Once you insert a finger into the hole, you'll notice that you can, you can easily put your finger too far into the hole. You want to make sure the tip of your finger gently rests on the screen. Now that we've successfully programmed multiple fingerprints into the vault, we're going to show you how to remove fingerprints from your vault. The deletion process will delete all prints, not only the master print, but any added prints. You want to make sure the vault is open, open the door. This time you'll need to locate the red fingerprint deletion key. During the registration process, if you'll remember, we used the green button. This time we'll want to use the red button. You'll need to press the red button and hold it down while simultaneously pressing the power button located on the front. This will cause a short beep indicating all prints have been deleted. I'll demonstrate this for you. I'm going to hold in this button while pressing the power button. You'll hear the beep. Now all prints have been deleted. This will return the vault to its original state. It will now operate using any random fingerprint. Your Bulldog Biometric Pistol Vault comes with a one-year limited warranty. If you have any questions or concerns about your warranty or any of the operational procedures demonstrated on this video, please give us a call toll-free at the number listed below.